New Mexico has some of the best incentives in the entire country between mm. the state tax credit, having one-to-one -one net metering. So what are some things that New Mexicans need to know? The core thing that we're experiencing right now is if you are with PM, there are good net metering opportunities out there. If you're with a co-op or, or something smaller, it really depends. And that advisor, that consultant can walk you through what the best situation would be for you, get you the best offset. And if you export it, most of the time as a current Currently stand for everything changes you are able to get a one-for-one -one credit we, we certainly see a lot more battery backup in New Mexico as well the grid can be a little bit less reliable so I certainly believe in the power of batteries in New Mexico as far as having that home resilient and ensuring that as it gets cooler into the winter you're able to heat your house if the grid goes out for 8 to, to 36 hours like how many people are gonna have this one-to-one -one net metering versus mm -hmm. have to basically talk to their utility or an energy advisor like ourselves and really kind of mm -hmm. hone in on what the details of that utility offer? So we have a spreadsheet that we utilize that has 40 different utility companies that just is it's gonna list out how much they're selling you electricity for, what the net metering rate is, whether the grandfathering is two years, five years, so on. But most of PM is gonna cover your sort of metropolitan area. Areas. So Albuquerque, Santa Fe um, are going to be your, your big players there. And as you move kind of further north into the mountains, you know, that's where you're going to see little co-ops that they certainly, they have very, very peculiar net metering or net milling laws that just, they just hamstring you. They're not a fan of solar and they want to make the permitting process as long as possible. So, you know, if you've, if you've got, if you've got a notion that you want to go solar, just expect a longer timeline with some of these utility companies, make sure that you talk to even your utility company sometimes and get get it from them as well. If the sales rep is talking to you about this is how it's going to pencil out and you're a little unsure, certainly call the utility company and ask them their questions as well because they might advocate against it. It's their obligation to provide you accurate information on what's going to happen to your power. I think it's really smart to call the utility company and verify certain things like minimum fees, even calling them up and, and having them tell you your exact like usage, for example. Mm. Um, sometimes the bill are like the graph on the bills sometimes are like not super accurate. I just had a lady call me and she said like the guy that knocked on her door looked at her bill and came up with 8,000 kilowatt hours for the year. But then I called my utility company and they said I used over 16,000. And so he was proposing a system that he said was going to knock out my whole bill, but it was only for like 8,000 kilowatt hours and I'm apparently mm -hmm. using 16,000. So, so calling the utility company and mm -hmm. verifying some of this information I think is super important. Important. We've actually done tons of jobs in New Mexico specifically. So let's kind of shift this over. Let's talk about kind of what's going on in the New Mexico market right now. Cause you, you've been telling me about some pretty amazing incentives in New Mexico. Anyways, can you kind of explain some of these incentives? Because I've been in solar now for about seven years. New Mexico historically never really got that much attention. Um, like people watching my videos, like I just never really got very many people from New Mexico calling, but like literally in the last year, there's been like a 10,000%, you know, like spike in attention from people people coming from New Mexico. So what's going on in New Mexico? And why, why do you think people are in New Mexico are all of a sudden kind of realizing like, hey, it's something I need to look into. So we can't really escape the two or three or four or 5% energy inflation that is happening across the United States. New Mexico historically has been very large into fracking. They've been some of the leaders in natural gas exports. With that, what we've seen is, is solar and education and be it even the pop culture of solar rising in the United States has led people to your YouTube channel and led them to do their research. So New Mexico has held the line. What we have in New Mexico is a very generous state tax credit. It reads 10% of the total project capped at $6,000. That's amazing. That's amazing. And you have that yeah. big, big, big 30% federal ITC tax credit. The, the core reason why you might consider going solar in New Mexico is if you're with p and you have a one-to-one -one net metering agreement. And as, amazing. as we know, uh, in California and in Arizona, if your home is grandfathered into that one-to-one -one net metering arrangement, you're looking at that increase of value instantly and a nice consistent zero or 15 or $20 electric bills if sized correctly for the lifespan of that system and the net metering arrangement. Is there any type of grandfathering for that net metering agreement? Yeah. That one-to-one? -one? We see a 20-year grandfathering agreement. 20 years. 20 years. That's amazing. Yeah, that, that's what we're wishing we still had here in California. That's amazing.
amazing, actually. So what are we looking at in terms of payback periods on average in New mm. Mexico? I mean, every every project is different, but with these incentives in place, what can the average person see in, in terms of their payback? Yeah, so I think if you've got a good southern or west-facing roof and you're not planning on planting any large oak trees that would shade your solar panels, you can see between a six to eight year return on investment period. Wow. And that can, that can uh, equate to 40 or $50,000 of net savings over the lifespan of that system, which could be 30 or 35 years plus. Six to eight years is really fast. I mean, most of the country right. is going to be, you know, over 10 years. New Mexico is that fortunate position right now where they receive a lot of sunlight. The temperatures are cool and ambient. They don't get super hot in the summer. So the production levels stay nice and high. And again, just it all really boils down to that net metering arrangement that you can establish with the utility company that would allow you to overbuild your system, export as much energy as possible. Yeah. And you can just tap into that power at night.